In the past year, we've seen how science and diplomacy are inextricably connected. We encountered the Zika virus. We signed the Paris Agreement. Managing common spaces and transboundary resources, such as the oceans, the polar regions, or outer space, require new models of governance integrating science and diplomacy. At its core, science diplomacy is about the recognition that scientific and international relations communities share many common goals. When you're addressing an issue that's as huge as climate change, setting goals and staying on track to meet them can't be done only on a national level. It requires international accountability and diplomatic good faith. I represent Costa Rica, a middle-income country that does not have oil or gas. We have to develop based on science and technology. It's in everyone's interest for all countries to have decisions informed by the best scientific information, conveyed transparently without bias. Here at the AAAS Center for Science Diplomacy, we are bringing scientists and engineers together with diplomats and international relations professionals. It's more important than ever that we understand that no science and no diplomacy is done in a vacuum. Who benefits if a drug is developed? Should it just be the institution that put in the R&D? There are places like the India-Pakistan border or the US-Mexico border where national security and environment concerns intersect. Without international collaboration and science diplomacy, we would not be able to unlock the mysteries of the universe. More than 70% of Earth's surface lies outside the territory of any nation. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us.